Maybe you've noticed that outside of our region, people don't seem to know much about the Great Lakes. Apparently, some people even think you can see across Lake Superior. But that may change now because a new international documentary series is putting the Great Lakes front and center. Carved by the retreat of a two million year old glacier, the five Great Lakes form the largest freshwater ecosystem on Earth. This watershed holds one quarter of the world's surface freshwater and is teeming with wildlife. It can feel like the lakes don't get a lot of international attention, at least not compared to the Amazon rainforest or the Serengeti, but now a three-part documentary series called Great Lakes Untamed is telling some amazing stories of the diverse animals and plants that call this watershed home. Dr. Ted Oakes, a biologist and natural history filmmaker, is the creative force behind the series. Great Lakes Untamed is really a planet Earth style treatment of the Great Lakes and it's really the first time it's been done. I've been um, making uh, wildlife shows for the BBC here in the UK for 25 years and um, no one had ever really turned that big budget lens at the Great Lakes watershed and all the natural history of the watershed. Ted grew up in Canada along the Ottawa River, which is part of the Great Lakes watershed. Like many Canadian students at the time, he was fascinated by a film he saw in school about a toy canoe's journey through the Great Lakes. The film was called Paddle to the Sea. When I saw Paddle to the Sea in school, which most Canadians in my generation were wheeled out to sea, I'd only ever seen Lake Ontario. I'd never seen any of the other Great Lakes. And it just inspired in me an inspiration to, you know, a passion for wanting to um, see nature in the Great Lakes. And it was the film that sort of galvanized the consciousness of Canadians about the value of uh, the water in the Great Lakes. Great Lakes Untamed goes beyond the five Great Lakes themselves and explores the lakes, ponds, streams, and rivers that feed them, the entire watershed. So there's one quarter of the surf fresh water on planet Earth in this system. And it's 90% of the US's surface fresh water lies in this system. So it is the largest freshwater ecosystem on Earth, and thus it's the most important freshwater ecosystem on Earth. And in a planet short of fresh water, this is our Amazon. There are three episodes in the Great Lakes Untamed series. The first episode is Source to Sea that tells the story of the journey of water from the western part of the watershed all the way out to the Gulf of St. Lawrence. The second episode is called The Big Freeze, and that tells the story of how ice and snow shape the system and shape life and, and the landscape of the Great Lakes. And the third episode is called Marvels and Mysteries, and that episode tells the story of how life in the Great Lakes has just a few weeks to reproduce itself in spring. The documentary series took three years to produce and more than 150 people were involved in the production. Each episode cost more than a million dollars to create and the series includes incredible images and scenes of the region's wildlife, including some that have been the subject of surprising discoveries. Some good examples of that are um, the wolves fishing in uh, Voyager National Park in the States. We know that wolves fish in uh, tidal pools in um, British Columbia. Those are the only wolves in the world that anybody's recorded uh, catching fish. But no one had ever thought that wolves caught fish in land. But of course, there's so many ponds and lakes and rivers in the Great Lakes system that it would make complete sense. But uh, we have um, footage from Voyager National Park where wolves are actually fishing for suckers in Minnesota. And that's really great uh, to see that. The series recognizes the challenges facing the Great Lakes, but puts the emphasis on little known wonders of the region, like Canada's longest underwater cave system, flying squirrels that glow in the dark, and the unique relationship between beavers and wolves that regulates the flow of clean water. All films ever made about the Great Lakes are almost always about the challenges of the Great Lakes and the environmental harm that we've done to the Great Lakes. And we felt it was important to remind people how much there is to lose. You know, how beautiful the lakes are, how incredible they are, how incredible the wildlife is. There's more diversity of large mammals in the Great Lakes watershed than there are any, anywhere in Eastern North America. 
because it is a meeting point of northern and southern fauna. So it is just an incredible, inspiring place that we've kind of forgotten about, that we've never even realized was sitting at our feet. Ted and his broadcast partners plan to launch a comprehensive education and community outreach project as well. Merritt Jansen Carr is one of the executive producers of Great Lakes Untamed. We've been funded by the Royal Bank of Canada, and uh, they've given us two and a half million dollars for an ambitious education program that includes a touring floor map of the Great Lakes with augmented reality and um, a, very, a very large website with all kinds of educational materials and curriculum materials that will be touring all over North America. Fall of 2022 marked the 50th anniversary of the U.S.-Canada Great Lakes Water Quality Agreement. Ted and his partners believe it's the perfect time to encourage conservation efforts for the next 50 years and beyond. I really feel like natural history is a perfect way of um, inspiring people to really fully understand what's there to protect. And then, you know, and then the call to action comes. You know, but first we have to understand, be inspired by the beauty, and really, um, you know, understand the animals that live in that, in that um, location and the behaviors and how wonderful they are. Ted is hoping that Great Lakes Untamed will inspire a new generation in the same way the film Paddle to the Sea inspired him so many years ago. Wouldn't it be amazing if we were able to get this TV series out to every school in the States and every school in Canada and inspire people for another 50 years so that when people come back and we're watching something like this in 50 years, that they tell us what inspired them to leave a legacy of inspiration around the most important watershed on the planet, our Amazon, is, is what we, we should try and do. At Great Lakes Now, we aim to cover the Great Lakes region and the people who live here, like you. Please follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our newsletter at greatlakesnow.org.